So you've bought that house. You've applied for that mortgage. Your loan officer says, now we're gonna get an appraisal. Well, what happens during the appraisal process? A lot of people either don't know or they have a lot of questions, a lot of misconceptions about what appraisers actually do. I'm Paul Stagner with Anchor Appraisals. We're going to take just a few minutes and try to explain a lot of the details about the appraisal process. How does an appraisal work and what's the process? You have gone to your mortgage loan officer and they're going to order an appraisal. Well, an appraisal typically goes from that mortgage loan officer to a neutral third party. That's called either an appraisal management company or an appraisal division of a large lender. They're separated from the commission staff, so they wanna keep everyone objective and not involved in the process to where they can try to sway the appraiser. So that third party will order an appraisal from someone like myself I'll receive the request, and if it's one that I can do, and usually we accept every order if we can, then all of a sudden I've got this appraisal request. There's a certain due date that I have to have it done by. Next in the process is I'll go ahead and I'll contact either the listing agent that has the property on the market, or if it's a refinance, I'll contact the homeowner, set an appointment. Then what I do is I start digging into data to take with me. I'm gonna look in that same neighborhood and try and find recent sales if I can, that I'll use for comparison. So once we've done that, we've got our appointment, then we'll come to the house. We'll do what we call an inspection, which is a lot of measuring, photography, things like that, maybe interviewing the homeowner or the agent about how old some of the components are in the house. Once we leave there, we go out in the neighborhood and we look at those comparable sales, photograph them, take notes on them, go back to the office and write up about a 30 page report. What are appraisers looking for when they view the property? Well, when we view the subject property, we're looking at things like condition, upkeep, maintenance, uh, renovations. We're looking at the room count too. When I say room count, I mean how many bedrooms does it have? How many baths does it have? And not only inside the house, we're looking around the house too, the location of the property and what's near the property, what's in view of the property. So we're really looking at all aspects of the property when we go to inspect the subject property. What things hurt a home appraisal? Anything that can be repaired, please do it before you get your home appraised if you can. For example, if you've got a broken window or you've got some torn window screens, if you've got paint that's, that's been marked up and you've got some spare paint in the garage anyway, go on and make the house look as good as you can before it's appraised. You want your property to look like one of the better homes in your neighborhood. That's gonna help your value. How should you prepare for the appraisal inspection? Before the appraiser gets there, it technically doesn't matter if you've made the beds, if you've done the laundry, if you've picked up the toys, if you've done the dishes. But let's be honest, your house will look better, not only to the appraiser, but to the individuals in who knows what other states are looking at your appraisal, making a lending decision. So you wanna make your house look as, as good as you can before the appraisal gets there to do his appraisal inspection, because we take photographs of pretty much every interior room. Is there anything a homeowner can write down and give the appraiser? That's a great question and I wish more homeowners and agents would do that. For example, if you've got a water heater that's one year old, we're not gonna know how old the water heater is by looking at it, but if you can show us that it's one year old or the heat and air unit is two years old, the roof is two or three years old, then we realize that some of those major components are newer. That does play into the appraisal. I guarantee you any appraiser is happy to put that in his work file and refer back to it when he's writing your report. Should a borrower just use that appraisal instead of a home inspection? Absolutely not. The appraisal is to assist a mortgage company in making a lending decision. They're not going to live in the house where an inspection helps you to make a buying decision. There are much deeper levels of inspection from a home inspection than there is an appraisal inspection. So please always get a home inspection anytime you buy a home, even a new home. Why do I need an appraisal? Couldn't I just use the online valuation tools? Now, did that online valuation company come out to your property and measure? No. Did they come out and inspect your property, look at the condition? Did they know about your upgrades? Do they have an accurate square footage or are they just going off the last MLS entry or the county record, both of which could be really wrong. Uh, no, and no mortgage company is going to use those online valuation tools for a conventional mortgage typically. 
What if the appraisal comes back and I really feel like the value is too low? Is there anything I can do to try to get a higher value? Well, yes, you can. Remember, we're basing all our value conclusions on data. So don't just go to your mortgage company and say, I really wanted a higher appraisal. Can you talk to that guy and see if he can get the value up? But what you could do is, you know, there are some sales in my neighborhood that are very similar to my property and I don't see them on my appraisal report. Do you think maybe the appraiser just missed that sale? That's a valid thing to take to your mortgage company. Don't take it to the appraiser, take it to your mortgage company. What they can do is give you a request for reconsideration of value. So that gives some data to the appraiser. We're all human. We may look and go, you know, I agree. I probably could have used that sale and would have given you a better value. So that's a great thing if you can provide information, not just, I really wanted a higher number. Why does an appraiser even need to measure the house? Can't you just use the county record information? We can't use the county record information on an appraisal because we have to measure the property ourselves. Remember how important square footage is in the valuation of the property, so we want an accurate number. The county record could be off by a few square feet or it could be off by hundreds of square feet. We see it quite often where there's just bad information and it's been passed down year after year. So an appraiser should give you an accurate valuation and an accurate calculation of your square footage. In fact, if you ever have an appraisal, keep it because that sketch could come in handy years from now. Remember, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure and subscribe or feel free to leave comments below.